We're here with uh, Eric Lawson, international poet, uh, road scholar. He's, he's on the road now. Can, how long have you been on the road, Mr. Lawson? It's been a pretty unprecedented tour. I think this will be day number, oh God, uh, two. Oh, I see, yeah. Mm. And uh, how many cities have you hit in those two days? It's been, uh, God, there's such, there's such a blur. Um, at least four. Oh, wow. wow. Four. And so how do you, can you give us, give us an idea of what a typical performance artist day is in, on, on tour like this? Okay, uh, usually uh, I, I um, either have been uh, just blind drunk from the night before, or um, uh, there's some kind of alcoholic haze. Usually don't remember to wear the sunblock and kids you need the sunblock especially for those Oh, so lonely nights in the desert uh, But yeah um, money. Um, It's just kind of a blur really I uh, I try really hard to um, Eat mm. Mm, That's kind of what it boils down to and, and how do you, I mean, how do you get paid on this kind of, I mean, I, that's not too indelicate of a question. No, 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 it's fine. Um, uh, I find that people uh, are often easily shamed into donating. Um, if you kind of grow the facial hair out and uh, kind of wallow in a dumpster for about a good five to ten minutes and then just kind of amble in front of grocery stores, coffee shops, restaurants, bus depots, um, donation places, hotels are good. Um, the kind, wonderful people here at the Travel Lodge, um, I just think they didn't want to deal with me, so, um, that really works in my favor. I'm really funny, unless I'm really tired, and then I just really want to sleep. Right, I see. Mm. Is there any, any kind of tips you can give to the traveling poet out there? Um, be born rich. Um... I find that uh, that has not happened to me in my 34 years. It's kind of a wake-up call. Um, other than that, uh, the other thing is just to be studious, industrious, odious, amorphous, um, and just have no shame. Have no shame. In fact, there's been a couple of venues when I didn't even realize that I got up in front of people with seven or eight pages of blank paper and had to wing it. And the guy said, um, hey, asshole, are you just making this up or what? And I said, well, it took a long time, but I'm just that good. And I'm just, you know, I, I've honed my craft to look like I'm talking out of my ass and your jealousy offends me, sir. So I know that there were some questions from the folks at um, facefuck.com or what have you. And I'm kind of curious what those three winning questions of the day were. That's right. We had an email survey, and we did pick three of the winning questions. The first question is, when are you going to return my wife's diamond necklace? I don't know. That was from Roger. Uh, when are you going to return? Well, Roger... Um, an interesting segue to that question is, look at this desert. There are a lot of rocks out here. Um, even though this is Cathedral, California, I will be performing later tonight at the Palm Springs Elk Lodge. Because, you know, my four-letter uh, diatribes play well to the over 65 crowd. Um, I wanted to point out there's also a celebrity tour bus, if you, uh, the camera can take a look at this. And I just wanted people to know that there actually were celebrities in this video, and I have not harmed them or accosted them or begged them for money. I see. Yet. Um, uh, so, Roger, was it? Yes. Roger, getting back to your question about the pearl necklace, um... Diamond. Diamond necklace, I believe P.T. Barnum had an expression. And that expression was... I pay you to shovel the elephant shit, not to hit on my waitresses. So there you go, Roger. Okay, so what was question number uh, two? Question number two was, um, uh, where do you get your inspiration for your poetry? 
My inspiration for my poetry. Um, it's interesting that you say that. Um, the things that I do have been considered not poetry, and then I would say that, well, it's only poetry when someone else calls it poetry, and other than that, I just um, kind of amble into these places, sometimes in a semi-drunken state, and get up and rant. We're doing a po we're doing we're running out of time now. Can you do a poem for us? Sure, before sure, you leave? sure. I'd like to do a poem, and I'd like to dedicate it to the wonderful people here at Travel Lodge. Let's plug them. And I have written it especially for an occasion such as this. And um, I'll start. You know, people have numbered poems, and I'd like to do uh, called the random n number fire safety poem. Uh, number six, stay on the same side of the sidewalk as your exit, counting the number of doors to the exit. Number two, two. If your family is with you, determine a meeting place outdoors, you'll know everyone is safe. Everyone. Even the hooker. Even the hooker. Even the hooker. Wow. Thank you. That was Eric Watson. Namaste.